Hey, Sam Hicks here. Often I get asked to do guest speakering, whether it be at a small coffee and chat type environment or a conference or a group, a business group or so forth. And, um, you know, I don't mind to chat. I can talk underwater with a mouthful of marbles, I suppose. But one of the last speakerings that I did was at the Business Resilience to Brilliance Seminar Workshop conference, whatever you like to call it, in Shepparton with Melbourne Innovation Centre. And I had to come up with my top 10 tips for business. And I really love this and I got some great feedback. So I thought I'd share them. I am reading off notes. So number one, fail to plan, plan to fail. You need to develop plans. You need to have a business plan, a marketing plan. Start small. It only has to be a one or two pager. Some of the best plans I've seen have been written on the back of napkins. So start small and build from there. Number two, be bold, but do your research. Use your data, big and small, to make informed decisions. Connect with your clients and they're their reason for being. Talk to them. Pick up the phone. Get sorted with tech is my number three. Invest in being skilled and be online. Just ask us. We can help you with that here. <laughs> um, <clears throat> additional tip is to spread your focus over social media platforms. Social media really is rented space in which the rules change often. You only have to look at a couple of them about how they're changing guidelines and rules and community standards and all those things. So make sure that you are sorted with the tech. Number four, remember everything you do online reflects your brand. So don't forget to add humanity to your content Celebrate your successes and be uplifting and kind to people always. Number five, staff and equipment. Invest in both. Empower the team and provide a positive and flexible work-life balance. And if they leave, conduct an exit interview. Find out why they've left. Is it you? Is it the culture? Is it the working environment? Is it the pay? Is it the benefits? Talk to them. Number six, emphasise your value, service or product. Communicate your benefits. And if you don't, ask your clients, why did you buy off me? Why do you follow me? Why do you come to my workshops? Find out what the benefits are. Everybody has a pain point and needs help with something. Number seven, you'll wear many hats. Choose what hat to wear wisely and work out which hat you will outsource or lend to others. It's really important. Small businesses, especially those micro and mum and dad businesses, we tend to have to do a whole heap. Number eight, have the legal side of your business sorted, especially your intellectual property or your IP. Nothing worse than coming up with a fabulous idea, getting it out to market, and then somebody swoops down like a bird and gathers it and runs it away because you haven't done your homework. So get a good lawyer, solicitor, trade attorney, whatever, but get your IP sorted. Focus on profit, not revenue, and keep the books up to date and keep the ATO, if you're in Victoria, Australia, happy. Number 10, be passionate about what you do and network. Network, network, network. Be open for collaborations and PR opportunities. Sometimes they work out extremely well. Sometimes they go bad. But have a go. Have a go. 11. Business is damn hard. It can be awfully risky. Hugely exhausting. You feel like exhausted pigeons. I get it. But it can also be exhilarating. There's high five moments. But if you don't enjoy being in business, you don't enjoy what you're doing, sell it up. Move on. Do something that keeps the fire in your belly. There's nothing worse than seeing a grumpy business owner who comes across unapproachable or ungrateful. People levitate towards those who are happy, motivated, who are purpose-driven and customer service focused. And if they've got a good cause, they're the ones, they're the genuine, authentic people. Overall, in business, anything is possible. Keep smiling and best of luck with your business journey. Have a great day. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.